All right, what's up, guys and girls? It's your boy Morty here. It's been a while, but I am back since, you know, we have nothing else to do. We're quarantined. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get your vocals to sit up front. Uh, I mix two instrumentals. I don't have, uh, you know, full tracked out beats with all the basses and kicks and instruments and in song. I know I have an instrumental that I just ripped from YouTube and I'm mixing my vocals to that. So I'm going to be showing you how to get the vocals to sit right in the mix and to be up front. But first, before we get started, be sure to check out my Airbit store if you want to use any of the presets that I have. They'll be all posted down below in this link. And yeah. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to get the vocals lifted up and put up front. And it just sounds really mixed and all that, you know, good stuff. So basically, my vocal sounds really thin after I apply all my presets, all my settings to the vocal. And this is how it sounds with all the settings on. Hey, I'm feeling down and before all that this is how the vocal sounded uh dry hey i'm feeling feeling down so i'm taking out all that air all that you know muddy sound and i clean it up so once i get that clean vocal i send it to four different tracks maybe five if i need to uh but these first two tracks are very important this is how you get that upfront sound i have a parallel compression track along with a doubler track so i right click it press route press route two on this track route to this track and then i route to this track too and then uh these are tracks that you blend in uh your sound you don't have to have them up all the way. You just blend in until you like the sound. So uh, with that being said, I turn on my parallel compression. All the settings are CLA 76. Uh, the settings are all for the ratio. I have the release to seven and the attack to a, you know, mid uh, to slow attack. And I'm compressing a lot of the vocal. So you get a very compressed sound. So I add my main vocal with the parallel compression and then I blend it in. So this is how it sounds without it. Hey, I'm feeling and then I'm gonna slowly blend it in until I like the way it sounds. Hey, I'm feeling, feeling down. All of that shit, it come around. Baby, show my hell. Now I know there's a lot of background noise, but you're not gonna hear that whenever the song's completely mixed. Uh, but yeah, this gives your this gives your vocal some body and some uh, warmth, I guess. Uh, next thing I have here is a doubler. I'm using Vocal Synth 2 with the preset of I forgot what it was. Preset Add Texture. Now this is gonna widen my vocal up, and yeah, this is how it sounds. I'm gonna mix it uh, into the song, and you'll you'll hear it turn on. Hey, I'm feeling feeling down. All of that shit, it come around. So it just spreads the vocal out. Uh, now I turn on the instrumental and this is how it sounds with those two things on hey, I'm feeling, feeling down. All of that shit, it come around. Baby, Already, that's it. It's all you need. But now you gotta add some, you know, some special uh, fillers. So I use a reverb, I use delay, and I use my high stock, high end stock reset just to give my vocal a little a crispness. Add all those on, and this is how my vocal sounds. Hey, I'm feeling, feeling down. All of that shit, it come around. Baby, show my hell. And sit down. Baby, show my hell. And sit down. And yeah, that's how it sounds with all those on. Now, after that, I, you know, another thing to get your vocal to sit right as I use my master track. Also, let me turn on my ad libs, my background vocals and my ad libs. Uh, so on our master track, if I turn it off, you'll hear how it sounds without the, without the master effects on. Hey, I'm feeling, feeling down, all of that shit, it come around. As you can hear, it probably sounds really loud and overblown, so sorry about that. But I'm gonna turn it back on, and then I'll show the effects that I have on here. Uh, you don't have to really have this on. Some it just adds a little subtle uh, subtlety to the music, to the beat. And those are the effects. This is an NLS plus stereo. Next thing I have here is a little uh, mid boost for the whole song. And then this is what really sets it off: is a C6 stereo uh, plugin. And all I'm doing is compressing certain frequencies throughout the beat and the vocals, uh, just to where they sit at a level volume and it just sounds really good to me so without this on hey, I'm feeling, and then with it on hey, I'm feeling, feeling down. All of that shit, it come around baby so my hell and sit down baby so my hell and sit down i'll be feeling up and feeling down all of that shit it come around baby so my hell uh, that's 
pretty much it. I don't know if I explained that, you know, really good. I was trying here kind of hard, but um, I'll just wrap this up into an FLP so y'all can use it, I guess. And I'll leave it down below, link to it down below. But yeah, that's all it is. It's just make your vocal thin, route it out to a parallel compression track and a doubler track. And those two give your vocal body and wide sound for it, you know, to fit properly in the beats. And it just sounds very good mixed. Uh, yeah, guys, that was my tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please leave a thumbs down and tell me why. I'm not too good at explaining for some reason. But yeah, guys, subscribe if you're brand new. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.